these politicians, and there's a lot to talk about here, but these politicians, you might have heard the Irish New Zealand game um, was played, obviously, in Ireland yeah, yes, the other day. Um, and, you know, obviously a good lot of the politicians, you know, the, I think the president was there and the, the T-shirt goes there. Um, and there's a photo going around with them, no social distancing, and the, the T-shirt's going around saying two metre distance, X, Y, and Z, wear masks, X, Y, and Z, in large crowds. And they're there um, in a big stadium. Um, and they're not listening to the world themselves. <laughs> let's, let's be honest, who would listen to them for a start? But they're not listening to themselves. But again, another politician would just uh, get... Uh, just crowding, like he's in the middle of a big crowd here. I could show him I have to terminate here. But he's in the middle in the middle of a big crowd, right? Near Richmond, um Dublin politician, Fina Gale. Um and again I've heard Fina Gale, particularly Fina Fear, Fina Gale, Fina Fall, all the time being like, you know, if you're anywhere well mass, do this, go here, do that, or I demand you, I order you, I obey you have to obey your government. You know, we have no freedoms or anything. You can just you have to obey us. You know, there's no demon in here. <laughs> But again, the way it should be, because you're in an open air stadium. Let's be fair. There's no need for masks and effort, and the World Health Organization is still put two chance of catching catching COVID outside compared to inside or whatever. Um, but again, science has gone out the window. It's just logic's gone out the window. Um, again, the an effort's mad in the head, just mad in power. But um, yeah, just perfect example. And the new Richmond will be on next week, and he was saying we had to close down the country. You know, X, Y, and Z people not wearing masks and things like that. And he's there, in a big crowd. You know, in between, maybe I could say, well, no, 200, 300 people around it. Um, and as this is here, this is from Mr. Duffy on Twitter. And Mr. Du Duffy, I think this. Next time a Fina Gale TV on, or it's on Fortune Media News or any other fin fin uh, fine media outlet, tell them, you telling you to wear my social distance, blame you for spreading the virus, deadly virus, don't listen to them, just a fine example. So just, because, you know, you have them on, Leo's coming around saying it's very, very dangerous, we have the lock in the country again. Um, and his own party members are just like, fuck it. You know, not, not you know, again, you lead by example, if that were, that's Because, again, they can't even lead by their own examples. They can't even lead by example because that's how incompetent they are in this country. We've seen that in Clifton, the, the perfect example. The day, the, that day, they give orders to you and I, the peasants, and then they went off and done their own thing um, and broke every one of the rules. Like, again, then Phil Hogan, like, again, perfect example. Nothing's ever been brought up about him being on his phone. It's it's probably all forgotten about and nobody's been found or anything that. It's all forgotten about. It's all forgiven. They're, they're, they're only human after all. And if that was you and me, we'd be in the barracks, kick the shit out of the barracks. Um, but yeah, isn't it, it's a great country and they'd be saying, you know, none of the media here criticising Richmond or any of his, you know, Mihol or the president for being there. And let's be fair, if, you know, let's be fair because they're whinging and quibbling and crying about the virus cases and everything that. And then they're going into big crowds themselves. And these are the attack people who are injured and quibbling and crying. And, you know, my opinion, I wouldn't go to any place. We don't, you know, like, again, they probably look for your vaccine passports before you went in there. And I wouldn't go. I wouldn't satisfy them to go to look for the vaccine passports. That's why, that's the simple as that. I don't go anywhere. Simple as I never did before, to be totally honest with you. But I wouldn't go to give them the satisfaction of seeing my post of private medical information. I wouldn't give them it. Um, and I just couldn't be asked to give the, I, I, you know, the Irish... Soccer, the, the Irish rugby associate couldn't be asked to give them money because they're only, you know, not water dam, let's be fair. Um, but it's good that I think Alan did win, as far as I remember. Um, but again, you know, it's just a perfect example. Like, again, these politicians, but again, if we're living in the country, the media would be going through them. If the, if this was a good country that had a good media, you know, this all would end tomorrow, let's be all fair. This would end tomorrow. Imagine, you know, imagine if this was any competent country or any competent media. media. They'd be going through, Leo. They'd be going, they'd be going through poor me whole mountain and the president for why they were there. And they were coming out and saying, you know, you need to reduce your contacts. It's me whole mountain to be careful to reduce our contacts and things like that. And then you went off the fucking the big Avena Stadium. Um, who paid from probably you and I? Um, and the same with Richmond here. Perfect example. Again, I'm not equated. The three of them, you know, the three of them has a lot of questions to ask for why they went there. And then the next day they'd be, uh, they'd be saying to us, you know, don't go here, don't go here, don't go, don't go there. Um, and again, it's just... A perfect example. Like, again, I know he's probably going to be whinging saying, you know, I'm entitled to become a free citizen of a free country. And that's, and that's a fair point, is it's a free citizen of a free country. Um, but it, it's, the point is that, you know, he's always, whatever his party's saying, because his party's quibbling crying every day of the week, it's not with Fianna Fáil, which is their own government, um, about case numbers and about this, that, and the other. Um, and about everybody else should, you know, start up in their games and everything like that, and then the politicians go off and do this. You know, one rule for D, another rule for the other. Because, you know, because, you know, just, it's just, you know, it just doesn't make any sense. And especially because they, they voted in their own emergency legislation. He, he, he voted, obviously, tall. And he, and it just makes no sense. But anyway, it's a great country. Did I ever tell you that? 